What would your favorite fictional characters drive if they were thrown into today's world? What classic car would they collect and why? Join Revved Up Motors for Real World Wheels, The Big Bang Theory. Leonard Hofstadter is an experimental physicist who suffers from severe allergies and is a non-athletic, cautious, spendthrift, asthmatic, techie nerd who married up and wears multiple layers of clothing even though he lives in California. Leonard's everyday car would be a 2013 Ford Fusion. Why? Because it was one of the first allergy-friendly cars that was made with minimal use of common allergens like latex, chrome, and nickel on frequently touched areas. Leonard can even receive local allergy alerts through the Ford Sync technology. His classic car would be a 1978 Saab 900T. It comes with a built-in HEPA filter, and the hatchback version would be beneficial for last-minute helium purchases, Sheldon's mobile virtual presence device, and Penny's wine hobby. It qualifies for a historical license tag, which leaves room in the budget for more Batman comics and fantasy swords. Penny is an athletic former actress, former waitress, community college dropout, Nebraskan beauty who is a pharmaceutical rep and the desire of all nerds. She drives aggressively without much concern for traffic rules or vehicle maintenance. Penny's everyday car would be a 2012 Toyota Camry. Why such a bland car? Penny's never expressed any interest in cars, and until recently, she has never had any money. The Camry is reliable and inexpensive, and Penny needs a large trunk for her drug samples and a four-door model to entertain clients. Toyota's extended warranty will address any warning lights that start flashing unexpectedly, saving her from having to cover them with post-it notes. Penny's classic car would be a 1969 Chevrolet Corvair convertible. Lambasted for being wildly unsafe in Ralph Nader's book, Unsafe at Any Speed, the last few years of production suffered none of those issues, and they were great cars. With flowing Coke bottle-shaped styling and providing spirited driving from its rear-mounted air-cooled engine, the Corvair was America's version of a Porsche, but with enough room for a girl's night out. Sheldon is an X-string theorist who is currently studying dark matter. He is the resident genius who is egocentric, narcissistic, socially dysfunctional, and suffers from a variety of phobias, including a fear of disorder, birds, constipation, snakes, dogs, dirt, bears, open spaces, cats, change, germs, driving a car, and spiders. Sheldon often takes public transportation and shields himself from contaminants by wearing his very own bus pants. Even though he's from Texas, Sheldon would never be seen in any type of truck, car, or motorized scooter, especially with Howard driving. If Sheldon's everyday car didn't have to be from this reality, it would be the transporter from Star Trek or the TARDIS from Doctor Who. But realistically, it would be whatever Leonard drove as he would be his chauffeur. Sheldon's classic car would be a 1948 Hudson Commodore Custom 8 from Driving Miss Daisy because she reminds Sheldon of his Mimo with Leonard as the driver. The Hudson's increased space because of its step-down design would allow the entire gang to tag along, except for Stuart. Do you agree, disagree, or have better suggestions? We know you do. Tell us your thoughts and post in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to see the rides of the rest of the Big Bang crew.